Let's tune my god dang Honda Odyssey. I'm Tom. In this video, I'll be tuning my 2004 Honda Odyssey with an AM Series 2 ECU and my manually controlled automatic transmission. This is actually like my third time rewriting the script for this video. All I really knew is I wanted to talk about tuning the transmission and the engine. So we're gonna do just that, but I also have an announcement, so make sure you stick around until the end of the video. Real quick, let's take a look at how my Odyssey performed on the quarter mile several years ago. During that pass, the Odyssey was completely stock aside from some weight reduction and having unbolted the exhaust. Now let's take a look at the first pull I did with the ECU installed. That pull was absolutely terrible, there was no power and even after VTEC started, it was still really low on power. Because of this, I decided to add more fuel and up the ignition timing. And to play things safe, I also moved to 89 octane from 87, and that'll just give me a little more room for octane requirements as I increase power from the engine. Let's take a look at how that turned out. It's still far from perfect, but you can definitely see that it brought back some of that missing power. That definitely told me I was on the right track. Now I should note that I have to keep tuning the transmission controller as I keep going because it was in the garage before and I can't tune it when it's in the garage. I kind of need to have it out on the road to know how it's shifting, what it feels like, all that stuff. And I found out the hard way that I can't reflash the transmission controller while I have the engine running or the key in the on position. What happened was I had just reflashed the transmission controller and for some reason I, you know, I unplug it from my computer and the computer just dies. Immediate, just black screen, can't get it to turn on, nothing. However, it did come back to life like 30 minutes later, which thank God it did. However, it turned out that for some reason, some of the transistors and MOSFETs on the transmission controller also cooked themselves when this happened. So lesson learned, just make sure the engine's not running, the key's not in the ignition, anything like that when I go to update the transmission controller. And unfortunately, this makes things a little bit harder because I have to shut the car off and everything every time I go out and I wanna make an adjustment, but whatever. So because of that, I had more MOSFETs overnighted to me. Yeah, I, I had to spend the extra money for that because I really did not wanna let the van sit when we had some nice weather coming. I even got some heat sinks to prevent the MOSFETs from overheating because when I did go to check the transmission controller, the MOSFETs were really toasty. Speaking of toasty, y'all have been absolutely cooking the like button on these last few videos. So if you'd like to support me without spending a single penny, go ahead and keep hitting that button. I really appreciate it. Not only does it tell me that you're enjoying my videos, but it also shows the algorithm that they're worth sharing to more viewers like you. Anyways, back to fixing the transmission controller. After replacing all the MOSFETs and transistors on the PCB, the thing came back to life, it was all good. Everything worked correctly on it. It's amazing how the angry pixies and magic blue smoke works. I also took one of the spare pins that was on the Arduino. I only have like two of them that aren't used. I sent it over to the connector and then I connected it to the ECU on an input pin. And the reason for that is that now the Arduino can tell the ECU whenever there's a shift occurring and the ECU will listen and that'll engage three step. Yep, that's right, three step, not two step. Three step. In most cases, three steps just kind of used for traction control or a speed limiter for pit lanes and stuff. But for me, I'm using it to cut or reduce power from the engine whenever the transmission is shifting. That way I kind of reduce any excessive wear 
on the transmission. We had some really nice weather on Friday, and I also had off from work, so I was able to get a lot done on the tune. Unfortunately, I didn't remember to record most of the polls I did, but I did get one of them, and so here it is. As you can see, the van is definitely starting to come to life. It's still not like fast or anything like that, but it is really starting to get moving. Oh, what's that? You're asking about the announcement? Since I've hit 250 subscribers here, and by the time I post this, I should have at least 8,000 on TikTok, I'd really like to do something special. Firstly, I wanna open up my merch store. Basically just gonna stick to selling stickers for now. It's just a little way that you can, you know, just spend just a little bit and kind of show your support and help fund my future projects. You know, just kind of help me keep making more content. Plus with the school year ending soon, I need to get a little extra income coming in just so that way I can have extra cash reserves to keep producing content for you guys. As a bonus, I'm thinking I might create a very limited set of TNAS stickers that will only be available at the store launch. Like I'll have a super limited quantity, like maybe 25 of them. And once they're gone, they're gone. So once that site goes live, that'll be your only chance to get those special stickers. I'll be posting a video about it on TikTok when it does go up. And I'll also be telling you guys in the next video if it does happen to be live by then. Now, before you get too excited, I even have a second announcement for you guys. I'd love to check out your builds and potentially do a video where I review them or react to them. That would be really fun. All you need to do is make a video on TikTok and tag me in it. It could be comical, talking about your shit box, or it could be like some really killer edit, whatever speaks to your creative style. I wanna see it. I wanna, I wanna see your rides. I wanna see how you feel about them. And I wanna see what you've done. So yeah, lots of things in store and I'm really excited to see what happens. Anyways, I really wish I could have gotten further tuning the Odyssey this week, but the weather has lost its mind again. At least it should get really nice this weekend, just in time for when I go to the drag strip. So that should be really great and I'm absolutely looking forward to seeing what the van can actually do. Oh, and uh, you didn't hear this from me, but we might be having a dino day for the van soon. So keep your eyes open for that. Anyways, as always, stay classy.